buyers have a huge appetite for detached homes. Find out what is going on in the market and see how you can benefit. If you want to get additional information about uh, this hot market, just uh, please subscribe to my uh, channel and uh, hit the bell so you will be notified every week when I put a new video. We use lots of information from the Toronto Real Estate Board, the TRAB, and as well uh, with some other very important uh, uh, source like the, this one we have a video from some information from RBC. Detached home rose over 20% in this January. Last year when this pandemic started the market has increased in a 20% base on year over year base and the price of the house has been increasing every single month so far. The numbers shut up again so in the Durham region like uh, on the month of January, uh, the average price was $876,133. And it was up from detached home from 36.7% up when you compare it to prices last year. 36.7%. Can you imagine something like that? Maybe uh, it's a particularly here, the price has been even higher. The average sales price right now is 919000 uh, And it has been, if you compare to last year, it rose 38.6% compared to January this year to January last year. Semi-detached has been even higher than this. So 44.6% increase in the, the area of Whitby. So that means market is you have a huge appetite for detached home that has not been satisfied yet. The GTA real estate market surpassed even the most optimistic forecast in 2020. So, and the trend accelerated in this uh, January 2021. Then you question why? Why this is happening? Well, Number one, the mortgage interest rate have never been so low as they are right now. Number two, the inventory is very low, very low inventory. There's not enough houses in the market. And there's a, like I said before, a huge appetite for detached and semi-detached houses in this area. And the third, third reason, there's a lot of people that are afraid to sell because of the conditions of the market or this COVID situation. This COVID-19 situation changed a little bit as we can get more vaccines and the people start getting back to their works and stuff like that. Maybe, maybe by July 2021, we could see some change in this market and then the inventory could be a little bit better. So we'll hope for that to see so it's easier for the people to buy their house. Is this a question for this? Is this a good time to buy a house? Is this a good time to sell a house? Well, if you just uh, click on the link below that I put over there, you can uh, download a PDF file that will help you out to determine if this is your case and how uh, the market is at this point. Watch the rest of this video with the some of the forecasts from the RBC for the whole uh, Canada and you will understand a little bit more what I was just talking about.
uh, so you will know all the trends that you can have either to prepare your house or to sell or be in a better position to do your next movement. Just don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, hit the bell so you can be notified when we have new videos.